Hi everyone. So I wanted to show you another way of calculating, uh, counting the number of concordant pairs and the discordant pairs necessary for calculation of Kendall's tau, uh, which is the ordinal correlation uh, measure in addition to Pearson correlation and Spearman uh, rank correlation that we went through. So uh, the second way uh, may be easier for some of you, uh, and it only works if the first variable uh, ranks are already pre-sorted, which we had anyways. Uh, so the way is, uh, once you have the first uh, variable ranks pre-sorted, uh, you look at the rank of the second variable. And you look uh, for e at each one of these, and you count how many ranks below that rank are higher than the existing rank. What this means is uh, you look at this number four and you count how many of the numbers below it are larger than four. In our case, there's only one number that's larger than four that's below the four. So that is number of concordant pairs uh, for this pair. And you, uh, that becomes a one. Then you look at the number of ranks below the four that are smaller than number four. So there's three, one, and two. So there are three numbers that are smaller than four, and that becomes the number of discordant pairs. Uh, then you move on to, to number five. How many numbers below the five are greater than five? None of them. So there's a zero here. There's a, there are zero concordant pairs with this uh, observation. Uh, and there are three numbers that are less than five. So there are three discordant pairs. Move on to number three. Uh, there are no numbers, again, that are greater than three that are below the three. So there are zero concordant pairs. And there are two numbers that are smaller than three. So there are two discordant pairs. Uh, moving on to uh, this number one. There are no numbers, uh, well, there's one number greater than number one below it. So there's a one concordant pair, and there are no numbers that are smaller than number one. So there are zero concordant pairs. And finally, if, uh, for the number two, there are no numbers at all uh, below the two. So we'll just fill it in with zeros. So the total number of concordant pairs is two and the total number of discordant pairs is eight the same exact values uh, that we got previously with the longer method uh, that I personally found to be uh, straightforward but uh, some of you may find that this uh, this could be a shortcut so finally let's uh, get to uh, calculate Kendall's tau the numerator is the number of concordant pairs minus the number of discordant pairs, which is 2 minus 8. Our numerator is negative 6. Denominator is n times n minus 1 divided by 2, and n in our case is 5. So it's 5 times 5 minus 1 divided by 2. And finally, or Kandal's tau as our numerator divided by the denominator. So, oops. Our numerator divided by the denominator. So it becomes negative 0.6, the same exact number we got previously. Uh, but some of you may find this this method useful. And I hope this was helpful. Uh, thank you for watching.